So today I'll give you an insight into the different kinds of skis. So there are four major types of skis: on paced, off paced, all mountain and nordic skis. On paced skis are skis that are used on groomed slopes. Such slopes are beaten using a snow beater. Off paced skis are thicker skis that are used on ungroomed slopes which usually contain deeper powder. All mountain skis are a hybrid between on paced and off paced skis and can be used on groomed slopes as well as deeper powder. Finally, nordic skis are extremely thin skis that are used for cross country skiing. Now I have three skis in front of me and I will explain what each of them are meant to do and what's the difference between the three of them. So firstly, I have with me the Core 87 Uh this is an all mountain ski and it is about 85 cm underfoot and 127 cm at the widest. This part where the boot fits is called the binding. Now this particular model is called the Adrenaline 14 by Tyrolia and it is a touring binding. Um so what that means is this binding enables you to walk uphill without actually removing your skis so once you reach the top of the mountain you can lock it into place like that and it doesn't move and then you can ski down so this is my go to ski and this is the ski that I do ski touring in the Himalayas with so this ski is a great blend of high performance and lightweight it has a karuba wood core and graphene all around So the tip of the ski is quite thick and it's got a really nice rocker which helps you float on deeper snow. At the same time, the waist of the ski is quite thin and it's got a really nice curve here called camber which allows you to carve really well on groomed slopes. Thus, it makes this ski a really nice all mountain ski. So secondly, I have here the same Core 87 ski with a different kind of binding. This binding is called the Ambition by Tyrolia. This is also a touring binding which means that it will allow you to climb up hill. The difference between this binding and the previous binding is that this is much lighter which allows you to walk greater distances with lesser effort. Now finally I have with me the V-shape V6 ski. Now this is mostly a non-paced ski but it can also handle a little bit of all mountain terrain. This is a fantastic ski for that beginner and intermediate level skier. who really wants to get his techniques right and push himself so this ski is extremely thin underfoot while the tip is a little thick which means that this will allow you to carve really well on groomed slope while also allowing you to go to a little bit of powder conditions so this particular ski is made with light tech technology which means that it is a very high performance ski while it also maintains that lightweight so the major difference between this ski and the previous ski is that this has a fixed binding which means that this binding does not move and this ski can only be used in places where there are ski lifts this is a great ski for that basic and intermediate skier who mostly skis on groomed slopes but also would like to explore a little bit of deeper powder conditions